Hello everyone and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. This is uh, part three of our ongoing series called Why Bluebeam and I am Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants and today I'm going to be talking about markup, tools, revisions, and comments. Um, so look, Bluebeam Review, most everybody's heard of it, uh, but it is noted as being primarily for the construction and design industry. And in this series, what we're trying to do is show you guys how very important Bluebeam Review can be to everyone. Doesn't matter what you do on the daily basis, doesn't matter what industry you're working in, Bluebeam Review is an extremely powerful set of tools that can make your life a lot easier. So let's get into this markup tools, revisions, and comments. So you know, as you can see, I've got a construction document. This is where you all expect Bluebeam Review to shine, right? It's the kind of thing where you can go in and you can add, you know, any kind of basic uh, markup item. So if we got to go in and we got to put in some items, say, you know, there's a square box that I got to put in over here, right? And then I got to draw some kind of a circular item, you know, that's going to be down here on my page, right? And then I can easily go in and I can change the properties on these and I can turn, you know, different fills. So if I want, you know, a green box and, you know, maybe we want to have a, I don't know, We'll have a, a blue circle here, right? And I can change the outer lines and the outer colors if I want, right? Or I can change the fills and make it a dark blue and a light blue. Right? And then I can go in right? and I can even do things like add hatch patterns to these if that's what I need to do. So if I want to put in, you know, different, you know, patterns and I want to use different colors for the hatch patterns, right? And I can rotate these and I can move them around and I can resize them. A lot of, of good layout and, and design setup that you can do here. I can even go in and do polylines. So if I got to do some kind of a connection, right, between this box and that circle, and the connection is going to go from here over to here, down to here, up to here, and then finally it's going to connect at the top there. And then I can take that polyline and I can change the width, I can change the color, I can change the line type, right? Basic markup properties, right, that you can use on any kind of tool. I can even go in and I can start taking out revision class. So if I want to you know, make sure people know that that area has been changed or modified on my plan, I can easily go in and just drop in a revision bubble that immediately highlights it and, and puts it in a revision bubble so everybody knows where it is. Great, great tools. They will work on anything. But what I want to show you guys is they're not just restricted to construction documents. They will work on any kind of map, any kind of image, any kind of PDF. Doesn't matter what's in that PDF. And I can start to add automated commenting and highlighting together. So if I want to go in and say, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe this area, this section three area, that's on hold, right? I, I can go in here and say, you know what? I'm going to grab a, a kind of a cloud statement. You see, I can just kind of draw a box around that and I can automatically put in a note up here. And that note's going to say, you know, this area uh, area is pending school board approval. It doesn't matter what it is. You say I can just go ahead and put that in and then I can adjust the size of the box to where it should be. And if I want to move that note to other locations, see how it keeps a, a nice little leader to it wherever I put this, right? So that no matter where I put that note on my page, on my PDF, I have it. I, and this, this idea of being able to very simply go in and add any kind of note or um, you know markup or, or revisioning or a comment like this in notes, We've got dozens, hundreds of tools available, right? Much more that we didn't even talk about. Things like, you know, highlighters and pens, right? So if I want to highlight areas, I can go in and say, hey, you know what? We really need to look very carefully about what's going on in this block. And you see that I can just go in and kind of color in and color code in, right? With different colors and setups, whatever I want. So I can highlight those items and I can go back and move it and update it and add notes. These types of tools apply to really any kind of business document, any PDF that you're working with. Right? And there is no tool on the market that has more functionality than Bluebeam Review. And that's one of the other reasons why Bluebeam Review is so important and why everyone should have it in their toolkit. 